Minnesota Fighting Viking superstar wide receiver Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen, alumnus of Mankato State University Community College, as well as the pride of Detroit Lakes, was on the Pat McAfee show, our guy. PMS for life, uh, and he had some uh, interesting things to say about Kevin O'Connell, about Justin freaking Jefferson, but notably, notably, Thielen is trying to get McAfee to a game at historic U.S. Bank Stadium to do a skull, lead that skull chant. Uh, I-, I would love to see McAfee banging on that drum. Bom, bom. It's great. Presented him with a McAfee number one jersey. Hell, if Jordan Berry isn't working out, like I, I understand the McAfee is getting all that money, but you know. Part of it has to think, I could still do this. I could still do this, man. All right, but that looks pretty damn good. Anyway, it needs to be week one, historic U.S. Bank Stadium, because, uh, of course, McAfee, I don't know. Like McAfee seems like a cool dude. He doesn't always pick the best friends because he's very tight with Aaron Rodgers. Do the skull chant right in his face. Just imagine, U.S. Bank Stadium, week one, Aaron Rodgers' first game without Devontae Adams, without Nathaniel Hackett, and he's like, oh, my, my, my best friend, my, my best friend Pat McAfee is doing the skull chant right in my face. Now I have to cut him out of my life. And then he throws four picks, two of them to Lewisine, take him back to the house. Oh, I, I'm thinking too. Lewisine, wearing number six, six for six, pick six, 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 six. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but uh, Thielen was talking about it's, it's a reoccurring theme that has come up whenever players are talking about the, the new regime. And to a degree, it's leaning in on the new regime to sort of take a shot at the previous one where he talks about the positivity. He talks about how you know Kevin O'Connell is fired up when the defense has a good day, even though it's to the detriment of his offense because he is the head coach of the entire team. Also, Thielen. You're talking about how it's more constructive criticism. It is more carrot than stick. And that's a very clear shot at you know Mike, Mike Zimmer, where if Zimmer's defense got lit up by the offense, he would not be happy in practice. It just is what it is. And, of course, he was a much more of a stick guy uh, as opposed to a carrot. And, yes, yeah, so you could say, Oh, these athletes are grown men. Oh, they're soft. You know, brick and my day. Yeah, we, we didn't have we didn't have any water, and then we had four days. Now sometimes it was seven a day practices in the heat and humidity, and we we're beaten. Uh, we were beaten with baseball bats, uh, like Joe Pesci at the end of Casino. That that's how we practice. The, these multimillionaires are soft. No, it's not that. Uh, again, if you. If you're given positive reinforcement, if you're given constructive criticism, if you actually believe uh, that the, the person who is giving you the criticism has your best intentions at heart and actually treats you like a human being, you want you want to play for that person. It's just like in, in any endeavor, right? Uh, do, you, do you want the boss who is going to lead by example uh, or the one who constantly throws you under the bus? It's like, oh, uh, we were down this quarter. It's Johnson's fault. F that guy. F that guy. But uh, this is what he said about Connell. Kevin O'Connell has done a phenomenal job at being there for everybody. His offense is the most learning I've ever had to do, and that's part of the rejuvenation. And if you think about it, over the last three seasons, over the, even though the Vikings have had three different offensive coordinators in Stefanski, Kubiai the Elder, and Kubiai the Younger, the offense has generally been about the same. It's really been a lot of shades of the Kubiak offense. Uh, but now... Kevin O'Connell is coming in, shaking things up, and I, I think that new ideas are, are really uh, reinvigorating at everyone. Uh, and you talk about Kirk Cousins. I was like, even though Kirk Cousins has had some experience with Kevin O'Connell, it's like, oh, he, he's doing flashcards. Oh, he's studying like a fourth grader, getting ready for a, a test. Is there still tests in fourth grade? I don't even know. I, 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 don't, I don't even know. Uh, then... You talked about Justin freaking Jefferson. I couldn't be more thankful for a teammate. Justin Jefferson uh, is day in and day out. And, and Jefferson, we've talked about where uh, his enthusiasm for the game, it's just unrivaled. Where You see it when he interacts with kids at camps. This isn't phony. This isn't, hey, I'm checking the box to do do my, uh, my, my good in the community. He's like, no. If there's no cameras, if there's no pomp and circumstance, he would just be there working with kids because he loves the game. And that bleeds over uh, to practice. It bleeds over to the games. And it's infectious, man. To, to be to be around people who actually want to be there makes you want to be there, be there. Ah, and then, I mean Jefferson. Uh, of course, Thielen's gonna love Jefferson because Jefferson's gonna take cornerback one attention as well as safety uh, safety help every single play. So Thielen is gonna be matched up uh, against the other team's cornerback two three isoed, and he's like, oh, I, I'm 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 Adam Thielen, especially in the red zone. I'm gonna eat that for breakfast. I'm gonna eat pieces of poop uh, cornerbacks like that for breakfast, man. 
So, of course, it's Zankel. Plus, it, it, it's really cool. Thielen has always uh, had a nice rapport with his his running mate at wide receiver, whether it be him and Cordero back in the day. Obviously, him and Diggs had a good relationship. And now him and Jefferson, uh, even though – even though uh, yeah, Thielen's role has shifted uh, throughout that, where he was the young guy with Cordero, he was the young guy with Stephon Diggs, and now he's more of the elder statesman uh, with, with Justin Frank and Jefferson. It is really cool how Thielen has uh, developed relationships with his uh, uh, wide receiver partner in crime. But yeah, overall, it's just another positive thing you know coming out uh, about the Vikings this offseason. Kevin O'Connell, the brand new offense coming in. Hey. Hey, you know, the defense is still developing. We, we got a pass rush, baby. And, hey, we can give up 20 points a game if we score 40, as opposed to back in the day where everything needed to be perfect. It's like, hey, everything needs to be perfect, and we'll win by three. Now, it's like, hey, it doesn't come down to the last play of the game if you're up by 20. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go from there. But I, the thing I want most, the skull chant. McAfee, skull chant. Bomb, bomb, skull. One time, right in Rogers grill. Do it. Do it, man. Uh, beer thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Adam Drome, Ezekiel Thielen was on the Pat McAfee show. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.